robots have taken over the ski slopes in South Korea. I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, and let's take a look at this. During the 2018 Olympic Games in Pyeongchang, South Korea, we have seen some great feats of human achievement. But from the beginning, South Korea has been using this as a platform to showcase their robotic ability. They have robots like these fish on display in the Olympic Village. They're also using gigantic robotic cleaners to clean up in the hotels. They have this cool painting robot that puts murals on walls. And they even went as far as little info stations that'll follow you around and tell you what the weather's gonna be. I mean, heck, if we look all the way back to the beginning, the Olympic torch was carried by a robot. So it should really come as no surprise that South Korea was the host of another robotics event. And that's the Edge of Robots Ski Robot Challenge. This event took place about an hour away from Pyeongchang at a resort known as Welly Hilly. And the competition was impressive. This tournament's competitors came from places like research universities, institutes, and there was even one there from a private company. And the competitors were as varied as their origin. We had robots like little Tebow here, or Diana. There was one with the name MHSRP. And the biggest of the robots was Rudolph, who came in at 160 centimeters tall and weighed a whopping 60 kilograms. The smallest competitor though, Taekwon 5, was only 75 centimeters tall and weighed in at just 12 kilograms. And the rules for the competition were simple. The robots had to be self-contained, self-sufficient units. They had to carry their own power supply, were not remote controlled, and had to get down the hill by themselves. They also had to be humanoid, with human-like jointing and the ability to use ski poles, so it needed arms and legs. And they all had to meet a minimum height requirement of 50 centimeters. It was up to the teams that they wanted to dress them up to look like little kids, but most of them did anyway. And something else all these robots had in common was the use of an optical camera system, instead of things like LiDAR or radar, to find their way down the hill. To say the competition even held a torch to the actual Olympics would be an overstatement. A lot of these robots did not do that good of a job getting down the hill, as you've seen in the video. But in the end, there was one winner who rose above them all. He was the smallest in the group, which just shows you size does not matter. But little Taekwon 5 did take the gold medal in this competition. And while this probably won't be the next big Olympic game, it does showcase the ability to train robots to handle tasks that we thought only humans could take on. And I guess that by itself is kind of a win. So what do you think? Which one of these robots was your favorite? Could it be Little Tebow or maybe Diana? Personally, I like them big and bulky. My vote goes for Rudolph. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to click that like button, share it with your friends, and maybe even subscribe so you know when I put out something new. Videos do go up Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I hope to see you here again soon. And until next time, have fun and be safe.